Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ohop. I thought I'd uh, spend a few minutes giving you a brief overview of how to get around the course. Um, what you're looking at here is the home page of our class. Some things you want to do when you get into the class is always scroll down to the news. Um, uh, each module there will be new news posted um, and if there's any other sorts of announcements it will be posted here. Please note in the news that there are links to the first page of the learning module, Introduction, Learning Goals, and Reading Assignments. There's also links to the checklist. For this very first uh, news posting, you'll also see links to the syllabus. Um, to actually get to the course content, though, you could either use up here the content button on the navigation bar. And when you click on that, you're going to see um, either a link for your checklist or for the actual learning modules. Or you could use what's called the content browser right here. Click on Learning Module. You're not going to see all these right away, um, but as an example, if you clicked on Learning Module 1, you're going to see specific components of the module itself. There's the first page of the module. There's a lecture section. There's a checklist section. There's an assignment section. And in the case of Module 1, you also need to complete Module 1, Part 2. So when you click on that, you're going to see, again, that same pattern of an introduction page, a lecture page. In this case, there's the addition of a key terms page, which you'll see from here on out, the checklist page, and the assignments page. Please note these arrows to the right of the header, and that's going to actually open up the various components of that section of the module. So in this case, Module 1, Part 2, there's a discussion board and there's a quiz on Middle East, the Middle Ages history. Um, so that kind of shows you um, what a module looks like and how to get to them. Like I said, you're not going to see all of these modules right now, um, but you can kind of get the idea that there are those four major components of all modules. An introduction, a lecture, a key term section, and an assignment section. Um, up here on the navigation bar, there's other ways to get to your content. If you clicked on the assessment section, you could see a link for your Dropbox assignments, your grades, quizzes and tests, and any rubrics I might use. If you click on the communications tab, you could see a list for the class list, the discussion board, email, again for the news. Resources can take you to things like the library, your smart thinking, which is an online tutorial uh, service. Um, D2L tutorials, your progress in the class, um, you will have a few assignments that you'll need to use the group um, tab for, and in this case you need to select either the author's project, poetry journal, etc. Um, and of course there's a link here for the calendar. You do not see this link over here that's called faculty. That's just for me. Um, anyway, to return to the home page, um, please Note that, sorry, let me get back to the home page. Um, there's also a section here that talks about upcoming events. And at the very bottom of that, there's what's called Remind. This, maybe if you have kids, you use this with your kids' school. I use it. Um, it's a uh, texting service in which you could sign up and get text from me or send text to me and it's it, quite frankly the, the easiest way to ever get in touch with me. Um, of course I can't be online logged in all the time but my phone is usually next to me so I encourage you to sign up for that and use it. Um, anyway well I hope that gives you a bit of an overview of the course and please do not hesitate to reach out to me and ask questions. Um, good luck with the start of class.